a new filter? No, I just the it's pretty dark in here. Well, heard on the news last night that it's gonna snow possibly upwards of a foot on the passes in between us and the expo in Portland. We gotta be back before this weekend's over. Rather than chance it, we decided that we just go steelhead fishing instead. So, sorry everybody, if anybody's waiting for us up there, apologize about that, we'll make it next year. Luke Evans will also make it next year. Oh, hi. So, that's the plan. We're gonna go try to catch some steelhead, try a couple different spots. We'll keep an eye on the weather today. All right, Luke? Yep. Have, have been all night. This guy. <laughs> Whoa, it's a little snow I'm from Crescent City. You guys are losers. Looking at the weather right now, I think we probably could have made it up to Portland. I don't know. And just one of those things, like, we couldn't risk it and get stuck up there. It's okay. Learning, checking out new spots, figuring out how this whole steelhead fishing thing works. It's pretty fun. Trying a new spot, switching up our bait setup. <clears throat> See how it works. All right, see if we can get our weight ratio down. Water's moving pretty slow, but I'm pretty sure it's deep right here. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So don't listen to me. And I've already hooked my leg. So, so we're good. Hey, hey, David. Yeah! We've been doing this most of the day. We're gonna go hit another spot. The weather is, that's oh, perfect. It's perfect, just what the doctor ordered. Elliot fell in once. Perfectly horrible. Yeah. So, we got told, we went to uh, eat some food earlier and we walked in the guy's like, you guys are hardcore fishermen. <laughs> no, we just don't know what we're doing. It's a fish of a thousand casts. Even if it's not, it's gonna take me a thousand. I caught nothing today, again. I'm out, I'm done. Cashing out till tomorrow. The snow stopped, which is good. It didn't really affect us too much, but. Well, Luke got cold. A little, little. I gave him a hug though, he warmed back up, so it's all right. I went for a swim. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we're gonna cash out for today. Pick it back up tomorrow, maybe see what we can do. But for today, I think that's a wrap as far as the fishing goes. Let's go get, let's go get the <laughs> He's a little cold. Well, that didn't take very long. That's gonna make it pretty hard to get to the river today. Dang it. Well, what else can we do today? So, had a little bit of a mishap today, uh, and yesterday, and basically all weekend. So we're gonna do this instead. Weren't able to get to the river today, which is okay, because the last time we went to the river, face it, you just watched it, we caught nothing. Elliot almost caught a cold because he fell in the water. <sighs> Didn't make it to the river today. It snowed four-ish inches down here in the valley, and we gotta go over quite a bit of elevation to get to where we normally fish, so aborted mission on that. What I did, though, is I dug through our footage and I found tons of stuff that nobody's ever seen before. Some of the stuff is actually from Nebraska this last year 
and we were fishing and actually catching fish. It's crazy, I know, I know it's crazy. I impressed myself too. When we were there, we were hanging out with Elliot and he said, hey, you guys wanna go fishing? And we're like, yeah, sure, sounds fun. So we went out to uh, a place that he knows and he told us there are these things called Northern Pike. And I was like, man, I wanna catch one of these bad. So we roll out to this place. He's pulling out all these weird lures and things I've never seen before. And he's like, oh, top water, top water's where it's at. So Carrie and I are, are catching bass left and right. And uh, it's, a, it's fun. I mean, who doesn't love bass fishing? If you don't love bass fishing, you're probably not alive. You're probably dead. So sorry about that. Let's get that fixed. We're slaying bass left and right, and then we get over to this corner. It starts raining, but it's kind of a weird rain because it's, I think it's the end of August still. So it's like a warm rain. And uh, Carrie hooks up on one of these northern pike, and they're a cool looking fish. They're long and they're slender. And uh, yeah, it just blew my mind pulling this fish out of this pond. Because I mean, you kind of feel like you're in Oregon when you're fishing a pond. You know, we're catching largemouth bass. And then he pulls this toothy looking long leopard printed fish out of the water. It was awesome. What? Dude, yeah. I want that so bad. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was one when you swimming. Dude, I wasn't even paying attention. This thing is sick. Hold him towards me, face towards me. This is a wee one? Dude, look at that. Has it? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Woo! Dude, that's the biggest bass I've ever freaking seen. Yes. Dude. Yes. Oh yes. It's a boy. So we've been there for a while. We caught a handful of bass each. I'm super pumped because I just caught a pretty decent sized bass, but I have not yet caught one of these northern pike. We had somewhere we had to be that evening, so we had to kind of start wrapping it up. We walked around to the other edge of the pond and I casted and I finally hooked up on one of these northern pike. Keep right on that. You did catch a northern pike, dude. It was awesome. I reeled it up. I grabbed a hold of that thing. You can see the camera's got water all over it. It was raining pretty good by then. There's my northern pike. But it wasn't as big as Carrie's northern pike. So I'm like, man, he beat me. Oh, well, you know, it's all fun and games. Well, Elliot says we got to start wrapping it up. And I walk out to the edge of this little thing and I talk to Carrie. I said, hey, where should I cast, man? I need one more cast. Where should I cast? And he says, you got to cast right over by this little, you know, the kind of the end of another little peninsula sticking out from the other side. And I was like, yeah, man, that spot looks like fire. So I rip one out there and I'm reeling it back and we're just chatting. And right before I get it all the way back in, bam, I hook up again. Yes. Oh, yes. That's 
a good one. I pick him up and I'm checking him out and we're getting some pictures of him. And these are the slipperiest fish ever. I mean, it's like holding on to just like a, a gross worm or something. They're just super slick and they're long and they're slender so they're really wiggly. And I go full fish flop Friday on this thing. It just comes sailing out of my hands and it does oh, this big heroic dive for the I dirt. And it lands in the mud in front of me and I was like, oh man, that, that sucked. Picked him up, dust him off, put him back in the water. He was fine. Fishing in Nebraska is no joke. We only just barely tapped into it while we're there. Next time we go back, we're definitely gonna be crushing some serious fishing, at least get a couple days of fishing in. It was a blast, but. Anyway, thanks guys for following along. Super appreciate you guys watching this video. This is a vlog, so whatever we're doing, whatever content we have, you'll see. So this is us. Thank you guys for watching our videos. It means a lot. Subscribe to our channel. I see every single person that subscribes to our channel. The bell rings, my phone gets notified. I very much appreciate it. I see it and it's just been a wild ride. We really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next week. Peace.